Does the future hold for football in Fredonia? Tonight, neighbors have the chance to weigh in on what's next for the program. Nearly 200 people packed the district auditorium at the Fredonia High School. News Force George Rickard was at tonight's public meeting. What happened, George? Well, Don, of those who got up and spoke, it seemed unanimous. Keep football as an option despite the risk of injury. The first of August, these kids go to practice and work their hearts. One by one, the Fredonia School Board heard from parents and football players urging them not to end the high school football program. If you take away football, not only are you taking away from these young gentlemen and all the other football players in this room, you're taking away pride of a community. Even an orthopedic surgeon tried to give some perspective on his experience with football injuries. The amount of ACLs I do are far more in females than they are in males. That's their high risk population. The Fredonia Hillbilly team has had a harder time finding enough players. So last week it was school board president Michael Bobseen who suggested ending the program altogether because of the serious injuries that can result. But the rest of the board and the majority of this crowd seem to be leaning toward a merger with the already combined teams of Westfield and Brockton. That's the same team that two years ago mourned the loss of Damon Janes, who died after a hit to his head in football. That's the problem. I have a fiduciary responsibility to my district taxpayers, and I do know, I do believe, if something should happen, we're going to get sued. I think that your limited parental role is satisfied both morally and legally by making all student activities as safe as possible and leaving the rest up to us, the actual parents. So now it appears very likely that the Fredonia School Board will agree to a football merger with Westfield and Brockton when the Fredonia Board brings it up for a vote next Tuesday.